Hi everyone, this is Lexi, uh, Lexi Crystal. <laughs> um, tomorrow is convention day, so as you can tell, I'm in my little, uh, my koala outfit. Um, so I'm just gonna quick show you guys my little, uh, like, pre-convention routine, which is part of this. So what I do before each convention, I double check my costume, I like put it on, I put, usually put my makeup on, and I put my my contacts in my wig and my full costume I do that um, just to make sure everything is fitting everything looks nice so uh, I kind of move around in it a little bit um, so I can you know kind of make sure nothing's gonna pop open or bust or mess up and especially since I make my costumes myself I like to make sure that they're extra like they're, they, they're good because you know <clears throat> I don't go out and buy costumes very often if at all um, so I like to make sure everything is together, uh, nothing's gonna fall apart. Cause you know, I, like first of all, there's this costume here, which you can see kinda. Yeah, Nightcrawler. This costume I made completely myself, except for the morph suit. Yeah, except for the morph suit. I pretty much made everything here uh, by myself. And to knock it all off, I actually uh, did not have a sewing machine to do any of this. So as you can imagine, it was a long time, a lot of uh, tears, blood, and sweat went into this costume, especially to be done at the last minute. Uh, the event is tomorrow, and I just finished this costume today. Hey guys, so just to show you real quick, this is the stuff I bring with me to the actual convention center. Uh, because, you know, when you're wearing a big costume, you don't want to carry a bunch of stuff with you. So, first of all, I bring a teeny, teeny little bag, and I carry bare necessities. So, since I'm wearing contacts this time, I'm going to take some contact gel or some artificial tears to keep my eyes dry. I'm going to take my Fitbit and my phone, and that's all I'm taking with me. Hey, guys. So, I, um, I just finished eating. I did the rest of my little uh, routine, got all my stuff together. Uh, I... I uh, had a little tweaking to do with my costume, so I uh, did that, tweaked that, and yeah, so that's all I'm going to do for tonight. Tonight I'm going to try to relax as much as I possibly can because uh, conventions can be kind of stressful sometimes, especially um, if you plan to stay a long time. For me, I'm going to try to stay between three and five hours um, just because uh, I have a lot of costume. Uh, this time, mm -hmm. yeah, so I think I have everything for tonight. I, oh, I also, um, I got a water bottle, um, filled with freezing cold water, um, because when it's hot, you need to drink some water. I think that's it. Uh, so yeah, I will see you guys when I wake up tomorrow. Hey everyone, it's convention day! <laughs> Today is the morning of the convention. I believe it starts at 11, that's when they open. So I will be leaving my house, or my apartment, at 11. I'm going to quickly hop in the bathroom and get everything on, and I will show you guys later. So I don't eat a heavy breakfast before the convention, but I always like to pack like a nice little snack or lunch that I can eat between uh, the begin between um, you know by the time I return on my way home because it is quite a ways away. Um, it's it's not far. It's just that is a lot of traffic usually. So I got some fig newtons which are organic. I got a little protein shake. I'm cutting my favorite Asian pears that I got from the farmers market because they're very sweet and juicy. And I mentioned uh, last night that I do have my water bottle. It's a hydro flask and I fill it with a ton of ice and really, really cold water. And yeah, so I'm taking that with me as my snack. Okay, so now for the actual costume. So what I always do is I put a really thick natural deodorant on before I put on my costume because this is black and it is spandex and it is very hot. Next, I wash my hands because I'm going to be putting in my contacts. And you always want clean hands when you put your contacts in. Yes, sir. 
Okay, next I'm going to put on my wig. I just throw it on. I don't really style it. It's kind of already styled. So I just throw it on, uh, mess with it as I see fit, and yeah. Okay, so now for the makeup. I usually use a paintbrush when I apply a face paint, but this time I ditched it for my finger. I felt that I got better coverage and it was easier to control the consistency of the paint when I used my finger. Um, but yeah, usually I would use a beauty blender or a paintbrush, like not even like a face brush, but like an actual like art scene crafts paintbrush, like from Michael or something. There's my finished makeup. I think it looks pretty cool considering I didn't have that much time. Okay, and the things I use are from the Scarecrow brand. They are custom, so uh, they do fit a mold to your teeth. I love these. I've had another pair, but I've lost that other pair. So this is my second pair of Scarecrow Fangs, and I love them. I think they look great, and I would highly recommend them. Unfortunately, uh, it was way more uh, stress and less fun than it was last year. So if you tell my makeup's coming off, then, but yeah, so I am on my way home now. It was fun, you know, but again, I didn't record much because like this, this whole thing has been way more uh, stress than it's worth. Um, I'll talk about it a little later when I get home. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay, guys, so I'm taking off my makeup. And uh, my contacts, my things, everything's coming off. You can tell I took my wig off. Now, um, I've been using organic baby wipes to get my makeup off. However, my mom suggested I try using my own reusable wipes by just getting flannel and wetting it. So, yes. And after I take off my makeup, I'm really smelly, so I'm going to take my shower. Hi, guys. So, it is the end of Comic-Con Day. Or, um, the, this, this year only went one day, so this is the end of Comic-Con for me until next year. Um, I got a lot to talk about, okay? This was... <laughs> this was the rough experiences I've ever, ever had at a Comic-Con. And it's really disappointing because I worked so hard on this costume. I'm not gonna say I wasn't proud of my costume. In the end, I was very, very proud of what I was able to accomplish in such short time and to do it all by hand and not like have a sewing machine. So I'm super proud of myself. Um, before I get into it, I want to introduce someone. This is Deary. Yay, welcome Deary to my family of plushies. This is Deary. I got Deary at the car uh, from Belzy. I don't know if you can read that, but the company Belzy, they make little cute stuffed animals. Uh, at the Comic Con today, and I'm like, I am not leaving here without something to prove to myself that I can work under stress and be okay. I need this, so I literally like walked all, excuse me, I walked all all around the whole um, convention center looking for the perfect thing. The Comic Con, it's a Comic Con, okay, right? Comics, Comic Con, not Anime Con not um, horror con, comic con. They had no plushies, like hardly any plushies. And the few plushies that they did have were like Pokemon. Um, so I ended up leaving 30 minutes late, but didn't make a difference, because guess what? When I got there, I had to wait in line for two hours, like maybe even longer than two hours, maybe like two hours and a half. Normally it's okay because you just walk in and you go in. This year I walked the line wrapped around the street three times okay three times not not once not twice three times finally we get in and by the time we get in like it was just so crowded you couldn't even take pictures with people at this point and um i prepared really well 
um, but I did not prepare for everything to go completely haywire like that. A couple of people got selfies with me, um, so I'll show you just some clips of um, my costume in full. I don't think I got any pictures of anyone, which was annoying, but you know, it's I'm going to a Halloween costume party, a Halloween costume party, and I'm wearing the same costume because thankfully this theme is MCU, which is perfect because, you know, Kurt Wagner, he's part of the MCU. I had a pizza party, you know, by myself um, because I'm like, I need to celebrate that I got through this and didn't have a breakdown. <laughs> so I got pizza, just a nice cheese pizza, oh, and it was so good. I'm so glad I got it. No regrets. See you guys in the next one. Bye.